Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. So potential is overrated. I truthfully don't care about your potential. And I say this with all the love in my heart. Here's what I mean. We all have potential. We all have opportunities around us in different ways to, you know, rise up, step into things, to go here, to go there. We, we're really surrounded by potential, especially in today's day and age where there's so much opportunity and so much choice available to us. Potential doesn't matter. It's what we want and what we're willing to do with it that actually matters. And so let's say you're working with clients, for example. You might be a coach or a consultant, or maybe you're working in a higher level role, a service role, such as an OBM with a client, and you can see possibilities for this client. They could do this and they could do that, and oh my gosh, if only they would, yada, 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 right? All these amazing things would happen. But you feel like you're dragging them to their success. You feel like you're trying to drag them into this potential that you can see for them. And maybe you're even having conversations about it and they're saying, yeah, I do want that, but they're not willing to do anything about it, right? They're not willing to take steps. They're not sticking with commitments and actions that they've said that they would do. And, and so it becomes this perpetual like, all right, I can see this amazing potential, but they're not doing the work to get there. You can't want it for them more than they want it for themselves. You can only support clients to the level of their own desire. You can't support clients beyond that. And you also can't manufacture desire for someone else. They need to decide that for themselves, what they truly want, what's really important to them and why, and what they're willing to do to get there. You can only support people to the level of their desire. You can't support them based on potential alone. The same thing can show up in our team. So, you know, if you've ever worked with somebody where they do really great in a certain area and you could see them shifting into this and that, and maybe you're wanting them to like step up in different ways, and yet they're not delivering. They're not, you know, they're not showing up. They're not getting things done. They're not, you know, stepping up in the way that you were hoping or wishing for them to do. Maybe you've taken them beyond their desire. Maybe you've taken them beyond what it is they want for themselves. Uh, potential, again, it's overrated. It's overrated with our clients. It's overrated with our team. What matters is, what does this person really want and need for themselves, right? What do they truly desire? Why is it important to them? And what are they willing to do about it? What are they willing to do about it? When we work towards this place of true desire, this is where we can provide our best level of service. And I get it too. This is the thing. There's there's clients I've worked with in the past where, you know, I've seen so much possibility for them and I will always hold a space for someone's possibility, right? I will always shine a light on, hey, this is possible for you, especially in the coaching and consulting work that I do. But if they don't want that thing, that's fine too, right? They get to decide whether they want that or not. And it can feel frustrating at times. You know, I remember uh, Tiffany working with me years ago as my OBM. We had someone on the team at the time in a VA role who was just not performing very well. You know, and we were trying different things to support and lead this person and it still wasn't coming together. And I remember her saying one day, you know, but, this, but she's got so much potential. If only, if only, if only. And my loving response was, I don't care about her potential because <laughs> she's not stepping up. She's not doing the things she says she wants to do. She's not performing at the level that we want and need her to perform. Honor the truth of someone's desire. Honor the truth of who they are and what they're willing to do and show up in support of that or not, or not, if it's not a match for how you want to support and work with your clients. All right, it's Tina Forsyth. Until next time, take care. Bye now.